coated. Jello, coated. Um, so I've been thinking about a TV show for a long time. I mean, obviously, I'm a guy with a lot of ideas and no funding. Oddly enough, um, I don't ask anybody for money. And uh, I trust God for basically everything because the Bible says I'm supposed to do that. And if I don't practice that, then um, I don't know. I have no hope of getting it. Heaven. That's my only fucking hope right there. So anyway, I have a TV show idea, and it's just basically Survivor. But it's urban Survivor. We shoot it in an urban city somewhere. Um, probably in America, because if we did this shit somewhere else in the world, it probably might not fly and all kinds of fucking problems. So we'll do it in America. And it's just basically gladiator for the fucking modern man. I mean, you people love fucking going out and watching homeless people suffer and fucking, you know, kill themselves. It's, you know, that's what we... It's the reason we put our fucking, the people we hate, out on the street so we can watch them die, fucking rejoice and give glory for it, you know? So why not just bank on that? Why not give you a fucking TV show that you can sit there and enjoy, you know? The shit you're enjoying anyway. It's just watching people suffer, you know? Not handing them any money and fucking giving them your bullshit fucking leftovers and, you know, you don't give a fuck about these people. And I'll remind you that Jesus said, whatever you do unto these, the least, um, whatever you do unto the least of these, my brethren, that you do unto me. So that's how God feels about your fucking lack of sensitivity towards fucking homeless people. He said, whatever you do to the least of these, my brethren, that you do unto me. That's how God felt about the homeless. And he hung out with hookers too. Damn sure did. <laughs> like to drink a lot of wine, man. Those guys were partying hard, 12 of them, plus Jesus. And if you don't think you could set up a hoax like fucking feeding a bunch of people some fish and some fucking bread when you got three fucking months to think about it out there in the desert with 12 of your fucking closest friends who all happen to know how to fucking fish and they catch hundreds of fish at a fucking time. You know, <clears throat> if you can't figure out how to pull off that little magical mystery tour of feeding people fucking free bread and fish and it going down in history is the greatest fucking meal ever. That's an easy one, man. Anybody could stash fucking 500 fish, 1,000 fish, and fucking pump them up through a fucking hole in, in a fucking cave or something where you were smoking them the fucking night before. And everybody thought because the seasoning was so goddamn special because you used some fucking paprika, something from out of state. You know? Smoke paprika, fucking mullet or something I don't fucking know and uh, <clears throat> there's your miracle man written on a piece of paper and you know we just still fucking doing backflips over it today 2,000 years later oh fuck now here I go losing my fucking point and train of thought again um what the hell was I even thinking about god damn it I don't even know mm -hmm. I have to restart this just to fucking see what the fuck I was doing. Shit. Totally lost my thought. What the fuck was I? Jesus. What the fuck were we just talking about? I forgot. Oh, man. I hate that. Why did I do that? Hold on. <clears throat>